Today on Engineering Newswire, we're designing the working man's halo, proving brain-controlled flights, and building a super maglev train that tops out at 1,800 miles per hour. Magnetic levitation, or maglev trains, use magnets to levitate above their tracks, which eliminates any friction, allowing for faster, quieter travel, which is good. Really good. Current maglev trains can reach speeds of up to 250 miles per hour, but researchers in China have successfully completed testing of the first manned megathermal superconducting maglev loop, which would go much faster. This super maglev train serves as a prototype for future evacuation tube transportation. Sounds terrifying. Evacuation tube transportation. Right. Covering the track with an evacuation tube, the air pressure is lowered to 10 times less than the normal atmospheric pressure at sea level, eliminating air resistance for even faster travel. This tube design that could someday allow trains to reach speeds of up to 1,800 miles per hour could also be adapted for space launch systems or to enable high-speed military weapons. Alumagear's Halo Light is a new, patented, 360-degree personal active safety system. Or just a light for your head. Designed to replace traditional headlamps, the Halo pumps out up to 276 lumens to make construction workers, who are inexplicably closing every highway on and off ramp, visible for up to a quarter mile in every direction. Traditional designs typically produce 50 to 70 lumens with a narrow beam of light. These camping headlights were not really designed to be worn on helmets or in these harsh working environments. Workers use duct tape just to keep them on and they can get heavy after eight hours. Well, to save on weight, the halo moved the battery pack from the head to the hip. Now the lamp is only nine ounces and attached with a quick disconnect if you get snagged. And the battery lasts 12 hours in temps as low as 20 degrees C. To test the IP67 rated halo, the engineers put the same unit through an interesting battery of tests. They submerged it, Got my phone here. dropped it, <laughs> threw a toolbox on top of it, <laughs> and then for good measure, they ran it over. Well, we got our hands on one, so let's test it PD&D style. <laughs> The European Union funded project Brain Flight is hoping to make flying more accessible to more people. The project recently demonstrated that brain controlled flight is possible and with a great amount of fidelity. Using brain control could help reduce pilot workload, increasing safety and giving them more freedom to move and carry out other tasks in the cockpit. EEG electrodes are connected to a cap that reads the electrical potentials from the user's brain. An algorithm converts them into useful control commands, but only very clearly defined brain impulses are recognized by the brain-computer interface. The flight simulator tests included subjects with varying levels of experience, including one without any at all. But the accuracy in which the test subjects completed the course would have been enough for them to pass a flying license test. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.